Hello, my name's Hassan. I'm one of the final year medical students. Can I start by checking your name, please? Ollie Walker. And what's your date of birth? 6th of March, 94. Okay, Ollie. Today, I've been asked to perform a cardiovascular examination on you. This involves having a look, listen, and feel of your chest. Is that all right? Yes. Before we start, can I check, do you have any pain? No, none at all. Okay, good. If you could take your t-shirt off for me and get onto the examination couch, we'll make a start. Okay, Ollie, I'm just gonna have a look at you from the end of the bed. Now I'm going to have a look at your hands. If you could just hold them out in front of you like so. Turn them over. Hold your fingers together like that. Okay, just pop your hands out in front of you again. I'm just gonna assess the temperature. Okay, I'm just gonna take this hand and I'm gonna squeeze the end of your finger. Now I'm going to take your pulse. I'm going to check both pulses in your wrists at the same time. Next, I'm going to feel your pulse whilst I lift your arm. Before I do that, can I check, do you have any pain in this shoulder? No. All right. Now I'm going to feel the pulse at your elbow. I'll feel the pulse in your neck. Okay, Ollie, if I can get you to rest your head back and turn your head away from me. I'll just have a look at your neck. Do you have any pain in your tummy? No. I'm just going to press up here. Okay, Ollie, I'm just going to take a closer look at your face. I'm just going to pull your lower eyelid down here. Open your mouth for me. And stick your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Thank you, you can close your mouth now. I'm just going to take a closer look at your chest. Could you raise this arm up just so I can have a look at the side? And the same with the other arm, please. Okay, pop that back down. I'm gonna have a feel for your heartbeat now. Now I'm going to listen to your heart. While I'm doing that, I'll be feeling for the pulse in your neck as well. Okay, Ollie, could I ask you to sit forward for me, please? Take a deep breath in. Breathe all the way out. And stop. Okay, breathe normally. Just going to have a listen at your neck here. Take a deep breath in. 
read all the way out. And stop. Okay, maybe sit back for me. Now, while I've got my stethoscope here, I'm going to ask you to roll over onto your left side and we'll do some more breathing, okay? Take a deep breath in for me. Breathe all the way out. And stop. All right, breathe normally. I'm just going to have a listen at the side. Just do that breathing again, in, out, and stop. Just stop there and breathe normally. Okay, come back and just sit forward for me. I'm going to have a closer look at your back. And now I'm going to listen to your chest. Just while you're sitting forward there, I'm just going to press firmly at the bottom of your back. Okay. Now I'm just going to have a little look at your legs. And have a look at your ankles. I'm just going to pull your socks down a little bit. I'm just going to press firmly here. All right, I'll just do the same on the other side. Okay, Ollie, that's the end of the examination. You can put your clothes back on. Thank you. Today, I performed a cardiovascular examination on Ollie Walker, a 30-year-old male. On inspection, he was comfortable at rest. He had no peripheral stigmata of infective endocarditis. His pulses were regular at 75 beats per minute. On auscultation, heart sounds one and two were present with no added sounds and breath sounds were normal. In summary, these findings are consistent with a normal cardiovascular examination. To complete my assessment, I would perform a full peripheral vascular examination. I would check vital signs, including blood pressure, and I'd obtain a 12 lead ECG. Check out the Geeky Medics collection of over 1,000 OSCE stations. You can practice with friends using our group study mode or chat with our amazing AI-powered virtual patients.